This is the global hazards case study for a local hazard. We have chosen to do Japan as it, like the UK, is a very, very advanced country. So it fits into the specification under hazards, case studies and seismic hazards because um, it's the study of an earthquake. So Japan is located in the southeast of Asia um, and the earthquake that occurred there affected the northeast coasts. It was a magnitude nine earthquake and it occurred on Friday, the 11th of March, 2011. Um, its epicenter was 130 kilometers to the east of Sendai and the tsunami hit the country's northeastern coast. It was originally reported as a 7.9 magnitude earthquake, which was then upgraded to an 8.9 and then a nine. The quake itself lasted around six minutes and it was the fifth largest ever to be recorded. Um, it was also 10,000 times, it produced 10,000 times more energy than the 6.3 magnitude earthquake in Christchurch, which had struck 17 days earlier. So here's some of the causes. Obviously Japan is located um, at a destructive plate boundary between the Pacific and the Eurasian plates. So the Pacific subducted underneath the Eurasian plate um, and there was a lot of friction and eventually the plates locked together, which resulted in a buildup of tension um, this was this pressure was re eventually released um, and it caused a shift in the plates and a lot of energy um, to be released in seismic waves, so L waves, P waves and S waves. Um, and this energy amounted to about the same energy that's outputted from the UK um, every year. So the social impacts, 2000 people were confirmed to be dead, 4700 homes were destroyed, 10,000 more people were expected to be confirmed dead as time went on. 2,000 people were injured, 530,000 people were displaced, um, and they stayed in 2,500 evacuation centres that were set up in halls and schools. 24,000 people um, were left completely isolated and couldn't be reached. 1.2 million homes were left without power, and a further 1.4 million were left without water. Economic impacts included the 4,700 houses that were destroyed, a further 50,000 houses were damaged, 582 roads cut off, roads were cut off, which made um, response very, very difficult. 32 bridges were destroyed. The, over, the overall economic cost was around 235 billion US dollars, which was the most expensive natural hazard in the world's history. Japan's transport network suffered huge disruptions. So sections of Tohoku Expressway were damaged and around 4.4 million households in the Northeast were left without electricity. So there were many environmental impacts. So scientists estimated that there were around 800 earthquakes of magnitude of 4.5 or above, which were recorded following the main earthquake itself. Um, this earthquake is also famously known for the 40 metre high tsunami, um, which devastated many towns and resulted in thousands of deaths. Um, it also caused a lot of damage and pollution up to six, six miles in land. Um, landfall some coastal areas experienced land subsidence as the earthquake dropped the beachfront in some places by more than 50 centimetres to half a metre. So short term management, we've got rescue services um, and the army were moved in very quickly to affected areas to clear road and create access paths. Um, the silt which was deposited from the tsunami did make efforts to count the dead very, very difficult. Um, many hospitals were destroyed or damaged, so field hospitals had to be set up and doctors and nurses had to be flown in. 300,000 people were left homeless and they needed access to food, water, shelter and medicine. Um, so the army built many temporary shelters to house them in. Um, rebuilding began almost immediately and the government set up a reconstruction design council, um, which was given a budget of 23 trillion yen to rebuild the houses. Tsunami barriers um, were raised from 12 to 18 metres um, to withstand the water, even though this one was 40 metres high. Um, the economic responses, so many manufacturers were affected, such as Toyota and Honda. Um, so the production was slowed because factories and supply lines were damaged. There was a lot of international aid. So the Japanese Red Cross received over $1 billion in donations and gave out over 30,000 emergency relief kits and 14,000 sleeping kits. Um, so also in the short term um, responses, a 20 kilometer evacuation zone was set up around Fukushima, which is a nuclear power plant um, to prevent um, nuclear contamination. 
Um, also, six days after the event, a motorway was completely repaired, which allowed a lot more access of aid. So we've got the long term management. So there was a recently released newly installed upgraded tsunami warning system. Um, engineers examined the damage and looked for ways to construct buildings in a more resistant manner um, and studies are still ongoing on that. Um, predicting earthquakes, so they've spent 70 million pounds um, and more on lasers used to monitor the slightest movements so they can detect when they're going to um, hit and what kind of damage they could cause. Um, they also practice for earthquake emergencies. So on the 1st of September every year, there is an earthquake and tsunami drill nationwide. The earthquake um, proofing buildings have obviously been built with huge shock absorbers in the foundations. They've also got flexible power lines and gas lines um, to prevent fires. Um, and there's also a complicated network of seismographs across the country to monitor and report any um, movements within the earth. So here's um, the exam practice question. It's focusing mainly on the underlying causes of hazards and asking whether they're due to human or physical activity. Um, so here's the mark scheme. Um, it wants you to talk about um, the park model of human response and also the hazard management cycle. Also in a lot of these hazard um, questions, they want you to talk about the incidents, the intensity, the magnitude, the distribution, um, and the level of development, um, so the distribution of the hazards and the level of development um, within the country itself. So obviously in this one, they've used um, Los Angeles and the USA, and we're obviously going to use Japan. Um, here's some of the examiner's comments as well. I hope that was really helpful. <laughs>